Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we have an interesting little problem. And uh, some of you out there are saying, this problem is so easy. I'll go ahead and do it, but boy, give me something more challenging. But I can tell you right now, some of you are gonna be actually confused how to do this problem. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. The problem says, what is two thirds decreased by four ninths equal to? So if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. And then of course, we're gonna actually do this problem step by step. And uh, some of you out there might be a little bit confused of how to deal with this word decreased, but don't uh, worry, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this problem. Uh, also, if you need uh, math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go take a look at the answer here. Again, what is two thirds, uh, two thirds decreased by four ninths equal to? Well, the answer is two ninths, okay? So if you got two ninths, that shows me that you know a thing or two about fractions. That's awesome. That's going to give you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100% and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know exactly what the word decreased means when it comes to fractions and numbers. They'll be so impressed. They'll be like, boy, the next time I run into a situation like that, I'm gonna call you up to help me out with mathematics. Okay, so for those of you that are confused here, um, here's a couple uh, probably reasons that you might be confused. All right, let's go up here. It's only a few, really. Um, the one, the first is, that you don't really know how to deal, uh, translate this word decreased, okay? Now, obviously decreased means, you know, like subtract away something, but you might be uh, confused on the order here. That's the first reason that possibly you can be confused. The second is you might have some difficulty when it comes to fractions, but let's go ahead and clear this up right now. All right, so what is two thirds decreased by four ninths? Well, in mathematics, you gotta be able to translate actual sentences, verbal sentences into mathematical uh, sentences. So the word decreased means we're going to take away, okay, four ninths from two thirds. Okay, so what is two thirds? We're gonna start with two thirds and then we're gonna decrease it, okay, by four ninths, all right? So this is going to be uh, two thirds minus four ninths. That's the setup there. So if you weren't sure if this was four ninths minus two thirds, of course, that will have a huge impact on your final answer. Uh, this is this word decreased in action. Okay, so what is two thirds decreased, right? We're lower, lowering this by what? By this amount, four ninths. So two thirds minus four ninths. Now, if you got this right, but you didn't get the final answer right, well, that means you need to brush up a bit on your fractions. And if you need help with basic mathematics, like uh, fractions, uh, a couple of quick suggestions. One, I have a ton of videos on fractions on my YouTube channel, uh, but if you really want a quick refresher on foundational math, check out my math foundation course. It's a mini course. I go through everything about fractions, decimals, place values, uh, percent, really kind of strengthen your arithmetic skills. It's really, really critical for, um, you know, to have a strong arithmetic foundation to be successful in algebra. So that's a good course uh, for those of you, because guess what? You know, we all learned this stuff way back, you know, many years ago, right? Well, some of you might be learning this right now, but for me, I was learning this way back in the good old 1970s, where there was this thing called the TV guide and TVs had like little antennas and stuff like that. Matter of fact, I remember my second grade or first or second grade teacher smoking right outside the classroom there in Southern California. Interesting times indeed. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how to uh, do this problem. Two thirds minus four ninths. How do we do that? Not that difficult. What we need is to find the lowest common denominator. So remember, when it comes to adding and subtracting fractions, we can only add or subtract fractions when the denominators are the same. Okay, so this one's nine, this one's, uh, this one's three. So we're going to need the LCD, the lowest common denominator. Now, if some of you are like, yeah, I remember that, you know, uh, but I forgot how to do this. Well, again, you need to brush up on your fraction skills, but the lowest common denominator in this case is nine, okay? So this fraction already has nine, so we need to uh, fix up two thirds such that its denominator is nine, okay? So how do we do that? Well, let's take a look at this fraction again, two thirds. We want to 
rewrite two thirds such that its uh, denominator is nine. So what we can do is just simply multiply it by three, right? Three times three, it will give us a nine. But if I multiply the denominator by three, I gotta multiply the numerator by three. So two times three, that is six. So now I rewrote two thirds as the fraction six, nine. Okay, so this part stays the same. It's right there. So we have six over nine minus four over nine. Again, six over nine is the same thing as uh, two thirds. So here, I can actually now subtract these fractions. How do I do that? Well, I just write one numerator, or excuse me, one denominator, just nine, and then I just uh, simply uh, subtract the respective numerators. So six minus four is two. So our final answer is two ninths. Okay, so again, you know, uh, having strong arithmetic skills is critical for your success in more advanced mathematics. And along those uh, same lines, you've got to be able to translate phrases like increased, decrease, sum, difference, quotients. All these words, um, you know, mean something. And you're going to run into them from over and over again, uh, especially in word problems. Okay, so if this little video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.